Hello there, everybody. This is Dr. Nate Hoffman with Google Workspace for Healthcare Providers, uh, formerly G Suite for Healthcare Providers. Anyway, welcome to this exciting ex installment of tips and tricks on how to improve the documentation and practice management experience using Google Workspace. Now, um, just so that you guys know, I am going to be, from what I talk about, I'm, I'm obviously going to be talking about something called Textblaze. And they've made some really cool updates. Of course, I've talked about them in the past. If, if you end up wanting to get it, please stick around to the end. I'm going to give you information on how to obtain um, a discount for it. So stick around and you'll be able to, uh, to get that. Um, anyway, so what we're going to be talk going to be talking about is ways to um, speed up documentation. And as you've seen me make videos on this in the past, what it essentially does, uh, this platform allows you to create what are called snippets or keyboard shortcuts, right? So right here, if I come to this one, for example, this is a dry needling protocol that I utilize and, and I just put backslash needn and it pops up this entire paragraph. Now you need to know that uh, most systems will allow you to do this. For example, I use a Mac, I prefer a Mac, um, but here, and, and it's probably this it's similar on a PC, but if I come over to keyboard, um, if I come to text, I can create shortcuts here as well. Um, Textplays only allows you to do 20 for free, but what I'm going to show you today is a way to create kind of like a miniature form that can help guide you through your documentation and add verbiage as needed as you go. So l l let me give you an example of that uh, right here. For example, this is called, this was uh, uh, the verbiage for when I do a low back assessment. And this is just the assessment portion at the end of my note. And here's my shortcut. So if I come over here, I'm gonna delete this so you can see what it looks like. If I do backslash LS assess, it's gonna pop this up, right? So right here it says age, we'll say 35 years old, male, maybe he has a history of some diabetes and some depression. Um, main things that he's struggling with is, uh, actually it's come here, these are his impairments. Maybe he's got some pain and some stiffness in his low back. It's affecting how he walks um, and maybe how he's transferring. So those are his uh, some of his impairments, functional limitations, difficulty with transfers. Uh, it's kind of redundant, so I could probably delete that from the other thing difficulty performing various ADLs. So I'm actually gonna take this one out over there. I have to change that later. Let's say prognosis is good. And the reasoning behind that is that he is young and motivated to return to a previous level of function. Great. And I'm gonna insert that and there you go. Up pops my entire paragraph. Now, let me show you how that's done. Okay, so first, here's, here's an example. Um, and let us let me show you something else other than what I've already created there so that you can kind of see the whole process. So let's say I want to get a patient history. So patient uh, reports history of, and let's come over to this dynamic. You can see right here, it looks like little check boxes, forms, and dynamic content, where I'm gonna click on that. And I'm going to go to a drop down menu because I want to select multiple things. I'm going to click on this so it's multiple select. I'm going to put um, health history. And then I'm going to, be going to put a few things in, right? Diabetes, chronic heart failure, uh, kidney disease. Let's say I want to add one more. Let's say, uh, I don't know, let's put gout. There you go. Insert that. So now I have options uh, when, I, when I click on this. So, so, that, so you can see this is what it looks like. Um, so you come up to preview and it allows you to see what this is going to look like when you're actually, when, when the form actually pops up. Let's go back to edit. And let's say that I want to add, I put a period there because that doesn't necessarily pop up from what I've created over here. So I put a period just so that, that it's just you know normal punctuation. And um, after that, what I'm going to do is, let's say I want to, I want to date. Uh, obviously, we use dates all the time in our documentation. Um, in this case, I'm going to say patient reports history of um, surgery uh, uh, Only I'll put following surgery and maybe I want to put that in maybe just a something that I type in really quick. Let's put a text field in there. Let's uh, Surgery type, 
I'm going to insert that. And let's say we want a date, like I mentioned before, on. And let's do a date field. Uh, I like mine as month, day, year, so I'm going to click on that here. And then I'll put surgical date. And I'm going to in insert that into my form. Period. Make sure all my spacing is correct. Yep, great. Now, let me show you what that looks like. So if I come over here and we put gwork, this is what I used for my example over here, right? There's my shortcut. We'll come back over here. Looks like I lost it. Let's bring it back. So here it is. Uh, so I can pick all these things. He's had a lot of things. Surgical date, let's see a uh, lumbar fusion surgery. Let's say it's an old thing. So we'll do 12, 12, 1980. Uh, 1980 there you go and then I insert that and up pops that information really cool I really really like I really uh, like this for me I, I can give you an example for one of the company for the company that I work for I have to create this really long assessment in it and it looks like this uh, after or for a discharge assessment very long right so at the start of care date discharge dates some, some of my tests and measures the physicians who i've talked to lots of different things the frequencies blah 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 a lot of stuff and this just prompts you as to what you know what to put where and instead of having to you know delete different verbiage and copy and paste and all this stuff this allows you this i mean it saves me a few minutes every single time i do it when added up over a long period of time it's really substantial so um, you should also know that TextBlaze does have a, uh, a monthly subscription of like $3. It's very minimal for the, the functionality that it provides you. Um, you can see the link below. I'm going to paste it here in the video. You can see the link below to get a discount for this. Uh, I believe it's for the first either several months or for the first year. I forget exactly what it is, but they have provided us uh, with a discount. So um, anyway, hope that helps guys. If you have any more questions, please, of course, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and even better, please subscribe to the channel, help support what we're doing, and join the Facebook group, Google Workspace for Healthcare Providers. And I will talk to you later. Bye.